welcome back to my channel, The Cultural Witch. And we are back again today with another Sad Box and also Winter! Hello! So, uh, today's box is here to help us celebrate Imbolc, also known as Candlemas. Yes. Right. February 1st, February 2nd for some people. So, let's get into it. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Let's do it. Aww. Ooh. Very nice. Those are our snowdrops. Yes. One of my favorite thing. flowers. Oh, it smells good too. Mm, yes. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> so the theme of this box is at winter's end. So let's take a look at oh, our uh, Book of Shadows page, or Grimoire page, is of course Bridget. Bridget. It's a Bridget's Prayer Parchment. With the Sabbath's roots deep in Celtic lore and celebration, it is easy to see why Bridget, the Celtic goddess of light, life, fertility, forge, and the hearth, became a focal point of worship for Imbolc. You can use this prayer in your Imbolc rites or spell work as a way to connect with both the archetype of Bridget and to work with her as a goddess. I love working with Bridget. Oh yeah, I know you're big on that. I'm big on, on her. Is there any particular reason why? Um, you know, I think it's because Bridget is so focused on family and the hearth and um, being a mom. <laughs> um, yeah. Really just connected with me mm -hmm. in a very special way and um, also, my family is from that area, so um, Ireland. yes, lovely Ireland. So uh, lots of different reasons, but yeah. A little sticker covering our uh, um, tissue paper is also Bridget's cross. It's so cute. It's so really pretty. It's such a nice little detail to yeah. the box. Mm -hmm. It. It just kind of pulls everything together. Right. It really just, nice. It just shows the effort that they put into this. I know. A little sticker is gonna have Bridget's cross on it. Of course. Of course. What should we go for? First? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. I, I'm seeing these guys. Let's right. start with Let's these guys. Let's see. We've. Um, it's from the Witchy Mommy, and I know that they've included some of her stuff in previous boxes, and they were always really cool. <gasps> oh, those are beautiful. Oh, and sparkly candles. The sparkly candles. They're hand poured soy wax purity herbal alchemy candles. Each tea light is pure white and blended with a scent of sandalwood and adorned with hyssop, red sandalwood, and rosemary. Each candle is charged under the full moon and under the planetary influence of Saturn, a perfect choice to incorporate into your invoke rites and magic or light in honor of Bridget. It said there was um sandal oh I see the yeah. red sandalwood now. If you okay. see the red sandalwood's in there. Mm -hmm. it <laughs> sparkles! <you> sparkle! <laughs> I have been sparkled. I'm a sparkle too! <laughs> there! <laughs> it's like, it's really good on there. <laughs> yeah, it's on there. <laughs> That's okay. You're definitely sparkly. And magical is the correct term for that. Oh, okay. Let's see. What is that? It's a, it looks like a little... Is it a bottle? bottle? Ooh, let's see. Smudge spray Bridget's fire. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have to open this and smell it because you know it's gonna smell amazing. I see Angelica root on there and I'm like, oh hey, work please. us, please. Let's Ready? see. That always takes oh. a few clicks, one second. Yeah. Oh Bridget's fire. Wow. <sighs> okay, I just wanna wear that like every day. So here's what I really like about this is that like of course, for a lot of people, spring is like a really important time of year, and everybody's like, oh yeah, it's winter's finally over, mm -hmm. and this box is celebrating winter's end, but it's still recognizing it's still winter. It is still winter. It is still winter, and this is still, like, it's kind of got that, like, a uh, spicy, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it's a, a really nice spice, but mm -hmm. it's a very light spice right. to it. Um, it does have that hint, if you can say, of of feeling a little of the coolness. Yeah. Um, which is really nice. The bottle's cold. <laughs> okay. It's been That's waiting because outside. Because it's cold outside. <laughs> it's an herb-infused Bridget's Fire smudge spray. This custom-made ritual spray by Light of Anjou makes for a simple and convenient way to purify your altar, sacred space, linens, or even oneself. 
Each spray is made with a divine herbal blend of Angelica, Rowan, Heather infused alcohol, as well as pure essential oils. I feel like I'm smelling cinnamon as well. It doesn't say that, and it's, you no, know, and it's like a little bit of ginger and maybe a little bit of clove too, those three. Right, so they, but yeah. But it looks like these were all put together because um, they are generally uh, seen as correspondences with Bridget. Yes. Which here it says you should pronounce breed. breed. Yeah, breed. I've or never heard that before. Really? Yeah. Um, there's actually several different pronunciations, but yeah, breed is one of the most popular. So the different pronunciations? Yeah. Okay, pronunciation. <laughs> At least half of my pronunciations of magical terms came from Charmed, so I'm oh, not gonna, I'm not gonna comment. At least that. you don't say Calendula. Calendula! <laughs> Okay, so I have to say that actually after the last box, frequency, the spray was my favorite. And this is not spray, but it's so It's so <laughs> Apparently she's really excited about this. It's because clear, I, don't, I, I don't wear perfumes, uh -huh. so I, but I enjoy good smelling soaps. Uh -huh. Are there stones in the soap? I'm trying to... Yes? Yeah, I think there's... Is there like fluorite in there? Handcrafted crystal infused clarity soap made up of an invigorating fresh blend of pure essential oils and infused with real crystals This handcrafted all-natural clarity soap by frequency will help you clear the cobwebs of your mind and refresh your thoughts It's got sweet spearmint woodsy rosemary and fresh lime That sounds yummy. Yeah, I mean don't eat the soap, but <laughs> Don't eat the soap. Don't eat the soap. <laughs> Not a good idea. Fluorite is definitely known as one of the absolute best crystals when working or trying to obtain mental clarity. Yes. Um, and this kind of, I guess, goes well with the theme of like spring cleaning. Like we're almost there. It's time um, to start, you know, yeah. clean up those cobwebs in your mind or maybe your house. Like maybe my house. I don't know. Sabbath box people like when they're planning their next box, they do like a mind. Do they consult thing. you to telepathically? I think they do they without do. even me knowing it because in every single one of these boxes, there's like something that I'm like, you know what? I was just about to buy that, and here really? it is. You're yeah. gonna get a cross. I wanted a, a bridges cross like made of reed or straw. Like that's really what I wanted. And this is and made that's of what it is. natural. Uh, elements, which is so pretty. Look at how beautiful. So pretty. Very nice. And we're twinkling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just perfect. It's just it's like... perfect twinkling. And you still yeah. have like glitter all over your head. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's see. And we have um, bridges crossed, handcrafted, and I'm like, Yay! Okay. Cool. It's an authentic handcrafted bridges cross. It is originally believed that Bridget's crosses were crafted by the Celts and hung indoors as a way to invite their life-giving goddess into the home during the start of spring and planting season. Bridget was considered the fire keeper of the flame of life. The reeds represent the kindling used to keep the life fire lit. And we have one more thing in here. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> See, I kind of thought that they would um, include one of these. I thought that it would be in the Yule box, like for the next oh. year. And I was like, huh, interesting. But um, but like there. But yeah, and it's it's specifically for spring 2018 to 2019. So nice. That makes sense. I've actually I've never had an almond neck. Really? Because I don't know how they are used. Well, guess what? You get to learn how to use one! Yay! <laughs> it's the Witch's Almanac, The Magic of Plants. Inspired by the Old Farmer's Almanac, it includes information related to the annual moon calendar, horoscopes, weather forecast, legends, rituals, herbal scents, mystic incantations, spells, as well as interviews by pagans for pagans. Oh, that's really nice. Cool. I, I always like that when, you know, they include kind of like, oh, I, I think I just saw one. Um, like like an interview, you know, yeah. like talking to people about paganism, oh, there's Dorian Virtue, interesting. 
<laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, they, it looks like there's just like kind of just it's a random collection, not random, but kind of a, an eclectic yeah. collection of a whole bunch of different, like it'll just be like, hey, this is an herb. Hey, this is a practice. Hey, this is a sign. Yeah, it's got a lot of information in there. And see, yeah. Oh, here, see, here's an interview. Yes. Cool. And guess what else it has? What? We have our favorite! Thank you, Well, so, um, and I have to ask you again, what was your favorite? Oh, I knew you were going to ask me. I have to say, this time around, I think it was probably Bridget's Prayer. Okay. I, okay. I really like the paper. It's very beautiful. Um, I like the, the cross behind it. Mm -hmm. um, I like how it reads. So I would say that that's probably my favorite, but again, they all are wonderful. I like the spray too. Like I really want to just spray everything with that <laughs> because it smells ridiculously good. It's really good. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's very unique. It's not like other smudge sprays. I, I might actually like have to get more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your favorite was the spray last time. Right. So is that yeah. your favorite this time too? Um, actually, I think I really like the soap. Because it has stones in it? Because it has some rocks. Because it has <laughs> stones in it. I, that's why I think this is going to be my favorite. But, you know, I, once again, never feel like any of this is like, oh, I'll just never use that. Well, and I, 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 I respect the fact that you asked me what my favorite is, but it's really hard to pick one. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Sabbath Box, for once again a very wonderful, lovely box. Yes. Happy in book to you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.